It's Nern TV! Hello mga katropa! So, din dumating na itong binili ko na ano, filter, ah, uh, film. Tawag dito ay solar film na ginagamit para gumawa ng uh, telescopes o lens na kayang ano, ah, uh, picture na ang araw. Okay. Oops, ba nawala sa focus. <laughs> What the hell? Yeah, there you go. Uh, so basically ano, meron ako ritong lens na para sa aking uh, cellphone. Meron akong S10 uh, S10 Plus. <laughs> Tagal na pala ng S10 Plus ano. So ito lalagyan ko ng uh, film para kaya kong kunan ang araw. Okay. Okay, so gumawa ako ng sukat nito. No? Tapos gugupitin ko yan. Okay, so mga katropa, no? naputo ko na yung ano, yung filter, yung uh, solar film. Then, Uh, ipapatong ko siyang ganyan dito okay ganyan okay uh, and then itong cup uh, na to bubutasan ko okay Ay! okay so ito ilalagay ko sa taas nito Ganyan. Ganyan. And then, tatakpan ko nito. Pero ito, lalagyan ko ng butas. Okay, para magiging, uh, ano siya, uh, parang panglagay lang siya dito. Okay. Okay, so mga katropa, teka. <laughs> okay, so, uh, nabutasan ko na yung cap, no? Tapos, ilalagay ko ito ngayon. Dito. Yung black side out dito. Okay. Ayan. See. Okay. And then, papasok ko to. There you go. Meron na akong, uh, ano, filtered na ano <laughs> Itingnan na lang natin kung uh, pupuwede ito <laughs> Okay, so susubukan ko na ito maya maya Itingnan ko kung pwede So, eto na po no? Makikita nyo yung ano, dalawang ano kasi ito yung film uh, One side is black The other side uh, is colored silver Okay, so yung nasa labas, yung silver, yung black na nandun sa loob. See? At ayan na po ang resulta, oh. See? Kita ko na yung araw, oh. Wow. Please like and subscribe. Ayan, yeah, mga katropa. Ah. Magalaw pa yung kamay ko kasi wala akong ano eh. Wala akong pang uh, stabilize eh. Pero, ayan o. Oh, at na iya uh, ano ko siya. Ayan. <laughs> Ang galaw lang ng kamay ko eh. Oops, nasa na? Yun. Yeah. And in the year 2135 Anumundi in the Enoch calendar, Jacob saw that Laban was going to shear his sheep and he will have to travel a three days journey. 
And Jacob saw this as a chance, so he convinced his wives to leave and go to the land of Canaan. For he saw everything in a dream, and God Almighty spoke to him that he should return to the house of Isaac, his father. And so Jacob and his family left on the 27th day of the first month that year. And Laban pursued after them and overtook them on the 13th day of the third month. One night, God Yahuwah came to Laban in a dream and told him not to hurt Jacob. And so on the 15th of that month, Jacob prepared a feast for Laban, and they made a heap of stone. And he called it the heap of witness to mark his covenant with Laban on the mountain of Gilead. And Jacob and Laban agreed to never cross the mountain of Gilead with evil intentions. This was their covenant. But before, the land of Gilead was known as the land of the Rephaim. And the Rephaim were giants whose heights were seven to ten cubits tall, and they were very wicked in their ways. And God Almighty destroyed the Rephaim, but the Amorites dwelt in their stead. Wicked and sinful, the Amorites were also doomed for destruction. They have no longer length of life on the earth. And Jacob and Laban went their separate ways. Laban went into Mesopotamia, and Jacob went into the land of Gilead. And on the eleventh day of the ninth month that year, Jacob passed over the Jabbok, and there Esau his brother came to him. And they were reconciled, and Esau departed unto the land of Seir, but Jacob lived in tents. And it came to pass that the following year, 2136 Anumundi, Jacob departed from there and crossed the Jordan. And he dwelt in a place called Akrabim. There he began to send to Isaac his father, and to Rebekah his mother all their substance. For in the time that Jacob was away, Esau his brother took their father's flock and left him alone at the well of the oath. And it came to pass that Isaac went up from the well of the oath and dwelt in the tower of Abraham on the mountains of Hebron. And Jacob sent substance to Isaac there at the tower of Abraham, and Isaac and Rebekah blessed Jacob with heart and soul. Please like and subscribe. And in the year 2143 Anumundi, Jacob went to the land of Salem, east of Shechem, and he brought Dinah his only daughter with him. And it came to pass that Jacob went to the house of Shechem, son of Hamor the Hivite, and he brought Dinah with him. Dinah was only a child of twelve years then. One day, Dinah went out to meet the other daughters of the land, and while on the field, Shechem, the prince of the land, saw her. And Shechem took her, and he lay with her, and he defiled her. Shechem besought his father, Hamor, and his brothers to give Dinah to him to wife. And Jacob and his sons were wrought because of the men of Shechem, and they dealt deceitfully with them. And the sons of Jacob said, We shall not give our daughter to a man who is uncircumcised, for that is a reproach to us. One night, Simeon and Levi came unexpectedly and executed judgment on all the men of Shechem. 
and they slew all of them in torments because they have dishonored their sister Dinah. And Yahuwah delivered the men of Shechem into the hands of the sons of Jacob, that they might execute judgment to anyone who defiled a virgin of Israel. And if there is any man of Israel who gave his daughter to any of the Gentiles, he shall die by stoning him to death. And to the sons of Jacob it is written for righteousness, for they executed judgment on those who defiled the sanctuary of Yahuwah. And the seed of Levi will be chosen for the priesthood to minister before God Almighty. For Levi was zealous to execute righteousness and judgment and vengeance on all those who arose against Israel. And on the day when the sons of Jacob slew Shechem, a writing was recorded in their favor in heaven that they had executed righteousness and uprightness and vengeance on the sinners, and it was written for a blessing. And those who dwelt in the land, the Canaanites and the Perizzites, did not rise to pursue them. For they feared Yahuwah, the Almighty God, and terror had fallen upon them. One day, Jacob spake to all the people of his house, saying, Purify yourselves and change your garments, and let us all go to Bethel, where I vowed to Yahuwah on the day I fled from Esau my brother, and he had been with me and brought me to this land in peace. And Jacob said, And put ye away all the strange idols that are with you, and they did do this, and Jacob burned them all. And on the first day of the seventh month, Jacob went to Bethel with his family, and he built an altar there for the sacrifice. And he sent word to Isaac his father and Rebekah his mother to join them in Bethel for the Feast of Tents. And Isaac said, let my son Jacob come, and let me see him before I die. And so Jacob came to his father Isaac and his mother Rebekah at the Tower of Abraham, and he brought two of his sons, Levi and Judah, with him. And Jacob and his two sons went into the chamber where his father lay, and Jacob took Isaac's hand, and they embraced and wept. And the darkness left the eyes of Isaac, and he saw Levi and Judah, the two sons of Jacob. And Isaac embraced them both, and the spirit of prophecy came down into his mouth. And Isaac took Levi by his right, and Judah by his left, and he began to bless them. And these are their blessings, to Levi the priesthood, and only them among all flesh can come to him to serve in his sanctuary. And to Judah, may Yahuwah give thee the strength and the power to tread down all that hate thee. And in thee shall be the help of Jacob, and in thy seed the salvation of Israel. And after this they feasted and rejoiced. The following morning Jacob prepared to go to Bethel, and he set Isaac on an ass. But Isaac is unable to travel, for he was already 165 years of age. And Isaac said to Rebekah his wife, 
go with Jacob thy son. And Rebekah went with Jacob to Bethel, and Deborah, Rebekah's nurse, also. And they came to Bethel, and Jacob remembered the prayer with which his father had blessed him and his two sons. Now I know I have an eternal hope, and my sons also, before the Elohim of all. And thus it was ordained concerning Levi and Judah, as a testimony recorded in the heavenly tablets, how Isaac blessed them. Don't forget to click on the notification bell. Thank you again for watching. Please support our channel by liking, subscribing now. It's free. Yeah, mga katropa, hanggang dito na lang. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.